Hey guys, welcome to Gaming Rig version 3.0. Um, I went ahead and upgraded the Core i3 2100 to the Core i7 2600K. I went all out. I did not pay that price. Micro Center was having a, a $100 off sale, and I figured, hey, might as well jump on it. Um, so here it is, and this is how you can tell that it's legit. This is running on my rig. Um, it is overclocked, but it underclocks when there's really nothing going on. Um, here you go, it shows up with eight logical cores with four physical cores. And here are my temps. I wanted to show off that my i7 is running at just around 40 degrees Celsius, which is not too bad. Um, and you can see the standard clock speed there. Um, and this really is amazing. Um, the performance is just insane. And according to Passmark, this is the second best uh, processor out there. The best one is the, um, the last generation 6 core i7. It's um, the 980X, I believe. Yeah. Um, that one's $1,000. Fuck no, I'm ever paying that. But for this to be second best for a quarter of the price, you can't go wrong. Um, it is an awesome thing. I did not use a stock cooler. I actually sold the stock cooler to somebody else using the uh, thermal take um, unit here, which I have to say, one thing I hate is these fucking clips. Um, let me just show. There's these dumbass clips right here. And they don't want to go in well. And I and I know some people say, oh, it's ridiculously easy. But this one fucking clip back there keeps popping off. So I got this uh, processor um, uh, three or four days ago. And I noticed that it was overheating. Um, it was running around like 50 degrees Celsius at idle. And that's not right. So I yanked it off and I found out actually it, the pace was touching. But there was a gap. It was, it wasn't, it was like about that much of a gap. So now... When I got the clip on there, now this heat sink actually gets hot. Before it would just stay cold. Um, so yeah, and then there's this little switch. As you can see the light, there's a switch there, it's called TPU. Flip it on, and the motherboard uh, overclocks the processor based on temperature and um, some other little things there. It also overclocks the RAM too. The RAM is running at, um, I believe, 1000. 1,700 something megahertz where it's 1,600 megahertz sticks but it's working well. Um, this card I have overclocked in the past but there was really no point. Um, again I might just get the uh, bridge and just put two but that would be gaming rig version 4.0 or if not I would probably replace this card altogether and get a F GTX 460 for the win edition and um, and it's basically two 460s in a single card. Um, that's a little bit pricey, but I might go with that. But other than that, gaming rig's looking really well. Um, I have to say this power supply is awesome. It's quiet and does its job, and it's moderately warm. And the fact that you can always expand it is great, so there's less wiring. And I know some people said, oh, you got a cable management. This case really isn't the best for that. Um, the space between the motherboard plate in here is too narrow, and um, there is no cutout on the other side, which sucks. Um, so this case, I would have to say, isn't my favorite, but um, it gets the job done. So take care, guys. Look out for future content.